Are you looking for a fun photography prop that cats actually like? Join me today as we build a super cool cat photography prop. For pet photography tips for animal rescues and causes, to improve your snapshots of your own pets, and for some insider tips, be sure to paw that subscribe button and the little bell to be notified every week when I release a new video. Understatement of the year. Cats are hard to photograph. <laughs> so that's why I'm always trying to come up with ideas for things that cats would just naturally like. Today, we're going to build a cat photography prop that I'm calling a kissing booth. All right, first, let's gather all of our props. I grabbed this box from the cat shelter when I was there last because I thought it would work out pretty good. It's gonna be a little bit different design than you might see somewhere else. Um, this is a hinged box that goes up like this. So my thought is to have it like this. So when the cats are in here, they'll have their little bed here and I'll have all kinds of decorations. Now, what a lot of people do is get just your standard box, I just don't have a big enough box, and cut a hole in the front. So say your box is like this and it's nice and deep, then you would cut a little window in it and a little door here for their bed to slide in and they can just walk in. But for this one, I thought, why not make it difficult, right? <laughs> make it out of this box. Now, the thing that I'm gonna have trouble with here is a little bit of engineering on how to keep this lid not falling on the kitties um, when I have it open and propped up. So it, since I'm only using this once, I might uh, just tape this open really sturdy when I get to the rescue. But one of the things I like about this is that it folds up. And so I can just fold it up like this and carry it into the cat rescue and put it up on my little tabletop studio. Um, so I will most likely end up just taping it open when I actually go to use it. I've gathered some other supplies as well. And what I've done is just raided all of my craft supplies that I have around the house. And I also got some bags of supplies at just the local thrift shop. Um, oftentimes they have seasonal decorations all packed up and ready. You know, this one has all kinds of little things in here, um, red and sparkly and this little banner that says love. I also, in the closet, found all of these sticky little hearts. So let's see what we have in here. Oh yeah, I like these a lot, partly because they're gonna lay flat. And I have just some regular craft paper. And another thing I found in this bag is tissue paper. I have a few other materials here, of course. We have just our, we have scissors and tape. I have a really big roll of packing tape and, and I've got all of my different Sharpies because again, I don't really wanna use paint. Um, so I have some really big fat, um, different colored Sharpies. I'm excited to use that. I want this to be a little bit, I want it to look DIY. I don't want it to look super finished. One thing I wanna stress is make sure all of the things that you use are cat friendly and non-toxic. So I'm choosing not to paint anything today. I'm simply gonna tape uh, all of the papers onto the box. If you have a regular um, brown cardboard box, you could even just leave it like this and kinda of have the little kids look with the crayons. That would be really cute. Um, but I'm gonna make sure that I use things that are cat friendly and I never leave this prop alone with cats, um, which of course it wouldn't happen at the rescue, but for your personal cats, it could happen. Um, so some of the things like this, cats would love to chew on that. Just don't leave them alone with it. Put it away after you're done with your photos or choose a different decoration. What kind of props have you ever used for your kitties? What did they especially like? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. I'm always looking for new ideas to use at the cat rescue. What I would like to do is have this be the very front. So really, all I need to do, what I would love to do actually, is take this little love banner and 
string it across here somehow in the front, right? And then we could write kissing booth on the front here. And if I put some uh, paper in here and, and some of those little hearts, then I think we'll be pretty well set because this will have a bed or a sheet, uh, blanket or some towels that they can just kind of curl up on. And then when I get to the um, place, I will just tape these sides up. Um, let's see, so if I put the paper in here like this, oh, hey, look, that covers almost that entire section. I take this paper and kind of tape it along the sides a little bit and then in. That's another thing, I'm not gonna use glue. Partly I don't have the patience for it, um, but just partly because uh, tape is just faster and I don't have to worry about it with the kitties. So, and seriously, this is just gonna be super, super simple, everybody. Don't go crazy on this. This is meant to be uh, homemade looking. Think of the Charlie Brown skits where it was, you know, five cents for advice, right? Um, really, really cute and playful. See how I just folded this piece of paper in half and stuck it on here? I, I, that's all I need to do. <laughs> and then let's fold another piece of paper in half here. This is fun. Oh gosh. Let me know if you build something like this and if you use it at a rescue, if you think it's made a difference in the adoptions. We have Valentine's this week, but you could use it any time of the year. If you just want a cute little prop for kitties to be able to curl up in, of course you can make this any theme you want, right? It doesn't have to be Valentine's with all of the pink and the hearts. Uh, we have St. Patrick's Day coming up, uh, so you can make it green. Uh, you can make it a spring look when spring comes along. If you want a little bit something new for either your cats um, for a cool photo little booth, a photo booth. That's looking pretty good already, I think, I think. And Bailey thinks so too, huh Bailey? So let's just loosely put, put this in here and let's see, we'll have it kind of crimple. Sorry about the audio there. Most likely I will bring, I have a white, just a little white blanket like you get for a throw in your house that I wash every single week, but I take that to the rescues with me. And so I will probably just take that white blanket and fold it up to put in here, uh, just so it's not distracting uh, colors or anything. Because if you go to the rescues much like me, um, then you know pretty much what they have there is old bathroom towels <laughs> with all kinds of different designs. Uh, so if you don't want that look, um, just either bring one of those throw blankets or go to your craft store and get something or bring one of your own towels, you know? So that's not looking too bad. We've taken it just from your regular cardboard box. Now we got this going on. Hey! Let's put a few hearts in here. Um, let's see, we got so many hearts to choose from. So I'm just willy-nilly putting these in here. Um, I just want them to be background decorations. That's all. So this is pretty fun. These are just stickers, foamy stickers. Can you see that? Foamy stickers. And then let's see, let's put this one right, bam, right there. Now I'm going to just decorate this with kissing booth like we talked about and some of our little sticky hearts. Yeah, it's exciting, right? Um, for now, let's get our, our pens out. <laughs> We've got the front here. Uh, if you're not sure about your lettering, pencil this in first. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty confident, right? And we can always cover it with some craft paper. <laughs> okay. I. Yes. Again, write whatever you want on here, whether it's for a holiday, an event, anything like that. There we go. Kissing booth, right? put that down in this corner. Can you see where I'm putting that? Again, use whatever stickers and decorations you want. This could be completely done with markers, really. It really could. Um, so let's put this right here. So that's looking pretty good so far. So you get the idea. 
So you can see the kitty sitting in there. So what do you think? Kissing booth, right? And with our banners. All right, now let's go down to the cat shelter and see what they think of it. Hi, so I'm all set up here at the cat rescue with my kissing booth right there, and we're gonna see what the kittens think of it. So we're getting our first kitten out to try our kissing booth. Oh, so cute. She did pretty good. Let's see if I can show a picture. Pretty nice, huh? some really cute ones okay we also kind of experimented with putting it in their kennel you can see Lynx right here is considering it but she likes the other side of her condo we put some treats and some catnip in there but it's not her usual bed so she's not sure huh Lynx but she's very friendly do you like the kissing booth <laughs> so she's considering it. All right, well, we end up only getting two kitties on the table set here in our little kissing booth and then the one kitty in her kennel. But I think it was a success. They liked it. I put, we put the treats and the catnip in here. Um, so I'd highly suggest it. So what did you think of today's video? Are you going to build something like this for your cats or your foster cats or the cats that you photograph at rescues? Oh my gosh, let me know. I really wanna know. Post it in the comments and uh, I wanna hear what your ideas were and how a kissing booth worked out for you and your kitties. And of course, remember to paw that subscribe button and the little bell to get all the notifications for future videos. If you know someone who would love these videos too, please share it out. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I wish you many woofs, purrs, and T-R-E-A-T-S's. Bailey, what do you think? Do you like kissing booths? Bailey likes it, everybody. Yeah. Oh boy. Hi. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to use it on Bailey when I get home from the cat rescue tomorrow. Adorable. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>